guys, my name is Jonas and today we're going to take a look over the Samsung Galaxy S6 Android Marshmallow ROM. So, Samsung has been released the new Android Marshmallow ROM and it's Android 6.0.1. And so, let's take a look over this one. Okay, so here is the phone and let's boot it up. Let's see what they can go. We can get them. Okay, so this is the boot screen. It has been updated. Yeah, as you can see, it's pretty nice. And also, don't worry, you didn't hear the sound because the new boot animation doesn't have sound. So don't worry, yeah. Something has been removed the sound, but I like it, so. Let me put my SIM card or SIM pin really quick here. And also, right now, you can see swipe up to unlock. And so now, you can see, enter pin instead of using fingerprint. Yeah, my English, yeah. Which you need and after restarting the device to protect fingerprints. So, let me put my code really quick here. So, this is the home screen. And so, if you like my wallpaper, then uh, the link is in the description. So, make sure to check it out. Okay, so as you can see, the device scan is completed. Okay, thank you for this one. So, let me... Okay, a little bit better to see right now. So, this is the app drawer. Yep, like this. And so, let's start with the phone. Okay, this is phone. Yeah. Well, just like normal phone. So, nothing changed here much. Okay, next is contacts. Uh, yeah. So, these are the contacts. So, you can also just drag by doing like this. It's pretty awesome. And also today when I was using the ROM, I noticed that when I got something to slide here, you can see there's like one swipe behind the slider. Can you see that? Yeah, it's now, I like it. So, oh yeah, right. So if you won't believe me that's officer ROM, then let me show you this one. So status. So right there is so see, yeah, it says it's official. And also, uh, where's the software? Okay, so Android 6.0.6. .6. Yeah, okay, so 0, 0.0. Okay, whatever. I'm bad. Okay, I got it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> let me show this one really quick. Okay, so one game here also. Oh shit, I'm bad. I'm really bad. Okay, let's try again. Oh, I'm gonna get the one. Two. Wow, okay, I'm bro. I'm bro. Okay, yep, never mind. So, anyways, that's the game. What you get in the Android Marshmallow. And let's go back to the settings. Oh, yeah, and if you still want to believe me, then let's check out the updates. And uh, if it's not the official ROM, then you can see it's not like updating. It's not even trying to update. So, yeah. But anyways, if you want to download the ROM, then I'll also put the link in the description, so you can just flash it via Odin. And I'm not sure if it drops, if it uh, drifts the knocks or not, but anyways, you can check it out. And also, what is improved is battery. So right now, I got like, okay, let's see how I got in on screen time. So I loaded the phone a little bit later, but yeah. So here's something weird, okay, yeah, whatever, okay, so things like the screen singing uh, holds the battery life, yeah, let's see how much screen on time, okay, three hours, yeah, and now you can also toggle if you want the fast charge or not, so that's pretty awesome, and uh, let me show the picture of the, or the screenshot of how long the battery lasts me. So, you can see I got uh, 8,000 battery, as you can see, the screen took 33% of the battery and also I've got 
3 hours and 11 minutes screen on time until my battery dropped into 16%. But anyways, I was also playing the games and using it pretty intensely. I was sending battery. Okay, and now let's take a look over the messages. So, yeah. Nothing changed, it's old, but what has changed is the keyboard. So you can see new emoticons and also with Android Marshmallow, the, the 6.0.1 and with that 0.1 update, you can get uh, 300, my bad, 200 new emoticons. So here are all here. Yeah, you can mini menus to check out. Okay, so about that, yeah. So also, uh, if you track down like this, wait, the focus is maybe not correct. Okay, and yeah, if you track down, you can see more settings or toggles actually. And if you click on edit, you can edit. Yeah, it's pretty simple. And also you can toggle if you want the quick connect or not. And well, the quick connect has got an update. And so now if you will like click scan nearby devices, you can see here's my TV. So let's see what I can do. Smart play and also, wow. Yeah, that's my mom's phone. Okay. Uh, yeah, internet, of course. So let's go to one website. Let's see. Maybe XTA, yeah, XTA developers. And also, I can show, maybe I can even show you the ROM. Let's put in S6. So here's the Samsung Galaxy S6. And where's the development? Okay. Yeah, here it is. The browser looks old, well, I don't know if it's, maybe it's updated or not, I don't know. I'm not quite sure in this. But yeah, anyways, here's the official Android 6.0. You can download it pretty easily. Well, if you go there and just, here's the model, just click here. And, uh, well, if you want to flash the ROM, then you're going to need an Odin. But yeah, maybe I will do even do the special tutorial about it, how to flash a ROM. And yeah. Okay, but now let's go on with the review of the Android 6.0. Now we got camera in our way. So, wow, what have I done? Okay, so it seems like there's new mode. One to one. And that's, I guess that's for the Instagram. Let me take one quick picture. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess it's for the Instagram. The Instagram, if you have used it before, then you know it's like square. So, you don't have to crop it later. Yeah, but here's for 6 to, well, six, 16 to 9 mode. Yeah, that's the user mode. Hold on, let me take a quick picture. Here we go. And also, it's, yeah. And also, I guess there's new tools for the edit. And let's support it. You can also like, yeah. Okay, <laughs> whoops. Okay, there's no face. But anyways, yeah. You can edit like this. And it's a little bit like iPhone has, I guess. Maybe I'm not right, but uh, iPhone has pretty similar. And now you can also draw to the picture. Yeah, let's take one smile face. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay. So here's the picture editor. And also, if you can see, then uh, if you already know about the Samsung Galaxy S7 and you have a look at the Integrator camera app, then it's pretty similar to this one. You can see the HDR text has been changed and also you can uh, choose the resolution pretty easily. Yeah, so I guess that's updated. And well, it's, yeah, I like it. So it's easy to select between the different megapixel modes. And also let's show, yeah, about the modes. So here is mode and also the pro mode. So now uh, you can even change the, how long, 
well, how I said it, I guess this called shutter, you can also adjust the shutter speed, and let's say, oh, that's damn right, okay, let's go down to ISO 15, and now you can also see like 0.1, so the picture is a little bit too bright right now, so let's turn on the, turn the shutter down, okay, yeah, I like the when the picture is a little bit brighter, okay, it's pretty laggy, but yeah, if you want to take nice shots, then it's perfect. Oh, hold on, hold on a second. Sorry. Okay, and I'm back. So I just made the whole video, like later, and I had to stop the recording because the file size is going to come too big, and then it just stops recording. So I do it before it starts. Okay. Yeah, so there was the camera and you can take pretty amazing nice shots because you can adjust the mana shutter speeds. And yeah, right, so also you can see save as raw file. If you know if you don't know what's raw file then well it's an uncompressed picture from the camera sensor and why is it useful? Well later you can change the like highlights, white balance and everything that Oh shit. Oh, what just happens? Okay, just maybe just overheating. Oh my god, the phone is burning. Okay, well, not this one, but, but the phone what I'm using to record. Okay, let's hope it survives. Yeah, and now we got the inner way is music app. So, music app has also been updated and here are the song. Yeah, I don't want to get copyright. And now you can also see there is Smart View. And what is Smart View? Well, if you want to listen a song in your TV or whatever you have, like maybe even on the phone, then you can just click here and it will start playing the music in the TV or in soundbar. Well, it depends what you have. And there's also equalizer. Well, you can when you plug in the headphones. What I can do actually real quick. So I just got here one headphones for you. Okay, here we go. And let's plug it in. So seems like now we have just enabled these settings. Oh. Yeah. So. Okay. Now we can change like tube amp and HD equalizer or ultra HD quality, whatever. And also you can see adapt sound. Yeah, I will do this one later. But anyways, you got the option, as you can see. Okay. Oh, the coding is on the red, I don't know why. Fuck's sake, the phone is overheating. Okay, seems like I got to finish this video quite really quick here, because the phone is dying, okay. Uh, anyways, here's the calculator. And here's the clock, clock is you now updated, seems like. Yeah, uh, face planner is new and it's beautiful also. And one mode, what I need to show you real quick is uh, it's pretty is new. Well, uh, if you want to take a screenshot and long one, then now you can take it. Okay, one screenshot, and now you can see capture more. Yeah, it's that easy. And here's the screenshot. Okay guys, so I'm back and wow. So the phone was overheating and so on. But not this one, it was the camera phone. So everywhere and let me correct the focus. So uh, that's the editor of the screenshots and all this kind of stuff. And let's see, get it and you can also draw. 
maybe let's say I really want the the other guy to see this one right here. So you can see, like wash it. Yeah. So also you can take like this. So this is only important important here. Well, you get the idea. Okay. So let's close the gallery and yeah. Also in the multitasking, you can see when I scroll up, then you can see the close all, it goes down. And it's pretty awesome. And so, also let's check out the multitasking in this phone. So, let's try. And maybe let's take a Chrome right here. So it seems like all the modes are the same. And yeah, it's pretty much the same. Let's say, can I use the keyboard? Yep, I can still do this. Okay, so that's nice. As you can see, you can easily multitask task in this phone. No stuttering or no lag. Well, that's pretty good. Wow. Samsung has done a great job with this phone, I got to say. Oh, this ROM also. Okay, so close all and let's head on to the voice recorder. So this one has been updated and let's see what they can do. So let's say hi there. And now I post recording with yeah, yeah, whatever. And so now I can even talk uh, like I can add more text behind it. Well, yeah. Like this. Oh, hi, dudes. You can see, I just added it, the red part, and that's just awesome. Okay, yeah, let's save it up. Yeah, right. Okay, let's see what they can do. Hi dudes. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, see, you can see, uh, you can get the idea. It's really awesome. I can also edit it. And well, that's just simple edit. But yeah, it's good. And well, I guess that's pretty much it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a thumbs up because I had many trouble with this video. But yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.